Hey everyone, I'm Zockley and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. I'm very pleased to announce that this week we are releasing the Visual Scripting tool, which also comes with some other improvements that should help all the keen mission and scenario creators out there. For a guide of how to use the tool and where to find it, please check the video description below. There's also a short example mission to help you learn and for you to use as inspiration. We look forward to seeing what the community comes up with and we'll be running a competition in the near future, so get designing. You may notice that the main menu is now organised differently. At the top, there is a continue game option which will resume your last loaded world. Below that, you have a new game button and by clicking on this, you can access the official example mission. Expect Steam Workshop support for missions and scenarios in the coming weeks. When that support comes, you'll be able to find subscribe missions in this same screen. Next up, we've added directory structure support for the Load World page. This can currently only be utilised out of game using Windows Explorer, although backups can now be accessed directly in game with the new Backups button on the left side of the page. To access worlds subscribed to via the Steam Workshop, click the Workshop button, also located on the left side of the page. Finally, you can find the regular New World screen by clicking on Custom Game. An explosive change that we've made this week is that certain functional blocks will now explode when destroyed. You will see the biggest explosion upon the destruction of a large grid large reactor, large grid hydrogen tank and a jump drive. But please note that this is currently only a visual effect and these explosions do not cause damage to surrounding blocks. This change should make battles and crashing ships even more exciting. Some other improvements include a larger max voxel tool size, which can now be set to up to 100 blocks instead of 10, and the ability to select a default camera in a remote control block. This means that when you first take control of a grid via a remote control block, you can have it automatically go into a specified camera's view. Bugs fixed this week include there being a suffocating sound in creative mode and the bottom of the passage block not having a mount point. Also, we made a number of improvements to particle effects as well as fixing some bugs involving them. Lastly today, there's an update to the stable branch which contains features like the realistic sound mode and improvements to the renderer and mod API, taking it up to version 1.153. But that's all for now. For the full list of features, bug fixes and improvements going out in both the stable and the development branch, please see the link to the changelog in the description box below. In other news, Medieval Engineers will be relaunching on October 18th with planets, area ownership, world map, fast travel, customizable banners and flags and much more, so definitely go check it out. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week, and here's a quote to end on. Successful engineering is all about understanding how things break or fail.